Hello, in this video I will show you how to build an SDL2 application with TCC, the TinyC compiler, on Windows. I assume that you've already installed the TCC compiler on your Windows machine. If this is not the case, please check the video description for a link to my previous tutorial. We'll start by downloading the latest Windows binaries for SDL2 from libsdl.org. Make sure that you select the SDL2 downloads and not the older SDL1.2. Now, get the SDL2 Visual C++ development libraries. Once the download has finished, extract the archive and follow my steps. The first step is to copy the files from the include folder and put them in a new folder named SDL2 inside the TCC include folder. Next, open the lib folder and go to x64. Copy the sdl2.dll file in your working folder. I will copy the dll to a folder named work on my C drive. In the same folder, I will put an sdl2 test program that I've already created. Check the video description for a link to this code. Please note that after line 7 of the code where we've included sdl2.h, there is an undefined main. This is required only for the tiny C compiler. The program will open a window using SDL2 and fill it with red. If you press the C key, the fill color will be randomly changed. You can close the program by using the right corner close button or by pressing the Q key. Next, open a new command prompt window that has the TCC compiler added to the path and navigate to the work folder. First time when you want to use SDL2, you need to generate a definition file from the DLL. Use the next command tcc dash impdef space sdl2.dll You should see a new file sdl2.dev in your work folder. You need to move this file to the lib folder from tcc. This needs to be done only once. Next, let's try to build our program. Use the next command to build it. tcc name of your program dash l sdl2 As you can see, we get an error. OK. So we have an error in one of the SDL2 include files, SDL underline config.h at line 68. The problem is that size t is 8 bytes on a 64 bits architecture and an unsigned int is 4 bytes. We, what we need here is a 64 bits unsigned integer. Save the file and try to build again. We have a similar error at line 71 from the same header file. Let's correct the error and save the file. Try again to build the program. This time there was no error and an executable was generated. Start the program and press the C key a couple of times to check that the code works as advertised. Ok, the code works. If you want to close the application, press the Q key or use the window close button. Thanks for watching and please like, share and subscribe.